hello wordpress nerds so in this video we are going to talk about schema in the custom endpoint so what is schema and why it is used in custom endpoint so schema is kind of a representation of your data like how you want to represent your data so you can predefine the structure of your data somewhere that is called schema and it is used in endpoint to define what data uh, you want to display in the um, api response so for example we created this custom rest api and we are getting this much data uh, inside this api but let's say we want to display some um, some selected data only into the api so in that case we have to use schema so after using schema um, we can control what data we want to display inside the api so after using schema it would look something like this so let's start um, the code so the syntax for the schema is this uh, i'm gonna continue working on this custom api.php um, before that let me format this file it doesn't look nicer it all got formatted spaces converted into tabs and all this stuff aligned into one line item okay so um that schema we have to add over here inside this array So this is the parameter and this is the callback so in this callback we can define the structure of our um, data for the api so let me add this function i have already prepared this and i'll explain to you about this function so i'm gonna copy this and paste it at the end of the file so in this schema main thing is this properties parameter so in the property sorry about that so in the property we are defining which data we want to have so we want id author and content so for each parameter you can specify its description and type like this this is the schema this is basically um, um, frankly speaking i don't know the use of this this is just an kind of identification of the schema that we are using this draft for from the json schema there are different type of draft in the json then this is the title you can give whatever you want type object uh, basically these three uh, doesn't affect on our uh, rest api response this is the main parameter so focus on this only again let me format this so now we have defined our schema now so whenever you, we use schema 
then we have to change the method of returning the data inside our main function which brings the data so for that we have to use this method so this is uh, going to be a kind of a wordpress defined method so we have to follow that so in this previously we directly pass the acf book our result using this function but now we have to iterate using for each and inside this for each we have to prepare the data so this is because we are using schema so we have to prepare the data based on our requirement and how we are going to prepare so we are going to prepare based on this properties in our schema so yeah i will provide this code in. i'm going to push this code in onto into my custom plugin github repo so i will provide that link and uh, the path will remain the same whatever you are seeing in this video so yeah this is how you you have to follow the functions to prepare the data so now it's time to add these two functions and we have to follow this method for each and every custom api So first we are going to add this function which is here so this function accepts two request arguments one is the book object and another one is the api request So now what we are doing into this function that we are getting the schema from this function which we added over here and based on the schema we are setting data so for the, for three i properties id author and content we are setting the requested data i will try to ex execute this so that you know better so this is basically just id author and content which we define over here id author and content so in the id what we want to display so we want to display post id and this post object we are passing through here for author we are going to display post author which is this and for the content we are going to display post content so that's that so this is um, this will add actual parameters into the api response now the last function to be added is the prepare collection this is the default function from the rest api class but as we are not using any class based uh, structure for this custom api so we have to just copy the as it is function from the class and we are using this over here so basically we are adapting the wordpress default method over here nothing changed and it 
it will remain the same in all the REST APIs. Maybe in some cases you might need to change something inside this method. But as far as I know, uh, we don't need to change anything over here. So now our um, schema is ready. So just to recap what we did first, we defined what schema we are going to use for this API. Then we added this function schema and define what parameters we want to display inside the API. Then we change the iteration to pass the data from the actual function and then we added these two functions to prepare the data. Now let's try to execute this API and let's see what happens. So as you can see it is now displaying ID author and content. Let's say we want to display title as well. So now we we want to display title that means first we have to add it into the schema so that API knows we are going to add title. And in inside this prepare post function, we will copy this, paste it over here. Title, title, and uh, let's see what we get. in this post object so we are getting title in using this post title so I'm gonna remove all other stuff and just assign the post title over here let me comment this function I'm sorry debugging code and run the API again so now as you can see we are having title as well so similarly if you want more parameter to be displayed into the API just add it over here and then uh, add it inside this prepare uh, prepare function so this is all about the schema um, maybe this this is kind of confusing but uh, I tried to explain in the very simple way so if you have any doubt or question please write down below in the comment section I will provide my custom plugins github repo url into the description section so that you can check this code reference thanks for watching the video guys